Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Ian Chikino commentating another game from MLG Providence 2011. We've got a TVT here on Shattered Temple. We've got Zephyr Prime, aka Marine King Prime MKP. Cool dude. I met him at MLG. That's pretty sweet. He's got a bear he carries around. I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> I should throw a picture of it up. I took a picture of it. I'll throw a picture of it up right now. Alright, that's his bear. All right, enough of Marine King Prime. Over here, his opponent will be Fnatic Rain, another Terran player. So a TVT on a Shattered Temple. What are we going to see this game? Uh, we have the close air distance, so we've got a lot of airdrops or a possibility close Banshee play. I mean, you could even see people fly over factories. Just, you know, weird stuff like that. So uh, I'll see what's going on in this game. Uh, Marine King Prime figuring, you know what? I don't need to wall off. <laughs> I'll just put it in the back. Sacrifice that uh, security for the economic advantage of not having to move your SCV couple uh, extra. I don't know what would you. What's a distance in StarCraft? Like you wouldn't call his feet. That would be like I don't know what. What would you guys call a distance in StarCraft? There's not like a term for it. Meters it really doesn't make any sense though because it doesn't. You know what is a meter in here? Is this is this a meter? Like here to here? Or is it like the distance of supply? I don't know. That's weird. Someone needs to generate a uh, unit of measurement. Maybe it's like a box. Like how many boxes? Like the grids? Like how many grids? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm completely confused now. So, I uh, got some SCVs queued up here. What is he going to go with? He's got his barracks here. Uh, we're going to see Fanatic Rain get the scouting down first to check out his opponent. Luckily, there's not going to be any wall off there. And even if there was, he wouldn't have had that second supply depot down unless he uh, delayed... Something else to get that supply depot, just to get it a little bit sooner. It's a possibility. So while nothing's going on uh, right about now, I'll just talk about GSL. I don't want to spoil it for anybody in case anybody is, hasn't watched it, but uh, I think I'm going to start doing this more recently. It's kind of... Um, I'm going to like recommend games, recommend GSL games, so those who don't have time to watch everything can watch you know, really good games. Uh, I, I would definitely check out Boxer. Like Every series Boxer was in, for day one of GSL Code S was really good. Uh, those are some really fun games. Really interesting stuff going on. Uh, also, let's see, what did I watch today? GSL Day 2. Um, I'm like a day behind because I watch it in VODs because I can't stay up that late because I have to work during the day. So It'd be kind of insane to do that. Uh, let's see what happened today. We had like Lenok. Oh, watch the uh, MC versus OGS Finn, a.k.a. 4GG. Those are some pretty cool games, and if you want to look at like a strategic deconstruction of it, I can't remember who posted. I think it's I, I A M K E one one or something. He made a blog post about it on Team Liquid, which is quite interesting. Give that a read. You can track it down in the start, the Team Liquid blog section. It's the only post on the page, the front page now of the blog section that has like eighteen thousand views. So check that out. Read that after you watch it or before you watch it. Either way, good games there between uh, M C and O G S Finn, aka Four G G former StarCraft 1 pro player. So let's check an update here. What are both players going for? MKP going for double gas and his opponent going for double gas <laughs> command center also and a factory follow-up with the barracks. Ringy Prime not going to get that SCV in, but oh my god, saves it with three life left. Nice control there, but uh, <laughs> Reyna's like, ah, I got another Marine, I'll take it out. So that SCV thought he was going to get home. He's like, oh man, guys, it was so close. I almost died. Blah, dead. Uh, so, uh, yeah, pretty similar build here between both players. Double barracks. Uh, but we do have a difference here. Reactor coming out of rain. We may see uh, some uh, marine tank play. That's pretty popular as far as uh, TVT goes. Mech also pretty popular. Mass bio also. It's kind of three main deviations of uh of Terran. Of course you can see like fast banshee play. That's more of a early opening as opposed to like a mid late game play style. Uh Starport going up. We have a tech lab on this factory flying the command center down. Um we're gonna see MKP get his uh command center out a little bit sooner. Rain I guess is a little bit scared. He's just gonna produce some SCVs. <clears throat> Excuse me, call down some mules as opposed to flying down that uh, orbital commander right away. Let me let me check the saturation here. He's, he's oversaturated by just a little bit there, not too bad. 
I think he's got, yeah, that's not too bad. Um, maybe if he had like three or four more on there, def definitely be oversaturation. But right now, not too bad. I think it'd be a good time to fly down. But he's going to wait for a little bit, play a little bit safer. Got some Marines out here in the front. Six Marines. And let's check the upgrades for both players. Stim packs on the way for Marine King Prime with Medivacs. Of course, Marine King is going to get Stim Pack. I mean, he wouldn't be the King of Marines unless he got Stim for his Marines. He's got to, he's got to, uh, appease his people. And those would be the Marines. And the Marines will love their Stim. So, uh, Fnatic Rain is going to see this big swell of Marines coming through the middle of the map. Going to sneak out of there. Yep, he's going to get out of there. Sort of just fall back just a little bit. Going to go and poke just a second to see if that army's still there. And uh, then he's going to get it back. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, Marine King saw the rest of these units from Fnatic pushing out across the map and was like, all right, I don't want to fight that yet. I don't have Stim. And just going to hang back for a second. One Viking production on the way from Fnatic Rain. Let's check his production back in his base. Definitely oversaturated now. He needs to transfer a couple of those guys down to low ground. But uh, he's playing it pretty safe here. I like this. He's calling, he's controlling the Zell Naga Tower. He knows, all right, I'm pretty good for the time being. Now is a nice, safe time to take the orbital. Uh, that's always a uh, something you have to worry about whenever you're playing StarCraft. It's a choice players have to make. Do you want to play risky and maybe get an advantage? Or do you want to play safe and just kind of play it straight up as much as possible? But we're going to have Rain going to go out for a push. Now Supply is favoring him. And he's going to get Siege up. Siege is up. Army Supply really close. Marine King probably just one more extra Marine in there. Viking going to land on the low ground. <laughs> kind of in between the Siege tech. Taking up front. And oh my god. Fanatic Rain just destroys Marine King Prime's army. And that one uh, tank is going to get away. Luckily because that S, uh, that Medivac was there. Three Marines is all that's left from Marine King Prime. More units being produced on the way. He's got a reactor there. And Fanatic Rain has a pretty good timing. I'm not sure why he isn't continuing this pressure. He's got a nice army. He's got the lead. Why is he not... Continuing, uh, Marine King Prime repairing that one lone siege take. They got three kills at the top there. Nice job there. He's okay. He's just going to use the Viking uh, to, s but he's not in range. Actually, he's in range up here. So he's just going to use the Viking for detect for uh, vision up here in the top. And then Marine's going to come in from the top and take him out. Even SCV's going to come in. He's going to get that one siege tank. Yes, he's going to get that siege tank. There's siege tank coming up, and Marine King Prime is going to pick off the rest of this force now. Uh, he sent in some reinforcements. These guys need to go back on there. They're not going to do anything else there. Uh, I, I don't like what Fnatic Rain did there. He kind of was stagnant. I mean, if you're going to go for that, like after he won that fight, I, in my opinion, he should have either done one of two things. Unsiege, go straight into the expansion and just start going to town, right? Or B, or 2, whatever you want to go with. Just go back home. Uh, uh, he sat there way too long, and Marine King Prime was like, you know what, I have more forces than you now just from production. And uh, took it out. So I think that was a misplay there by Rain. Maybe giving up a little bit of an advantage that he could have kept going on in here in the mid game. Anyways, more production coming up. Stim coming a little bit later for Rain. And a lot of uh, another reactor coming out for the barracks. Combat shields close uh, to being finished. We have a drop coming through the main here. And there's a drop over here. Double drop. Both players going for a drop. Unless he's going to do some more damage. Marine King Prime up here in the top. There's nothing. I don't think he saw that. Did he see that? I He sees it now. Uh, and these SCVs are going to get taken out by all these Marines. Look, he's going to get the Siege Tank. He's going to have to fall back. Otherwise, that Siege Tank is going to start dealing some damage. No, he's just going to go for it. Man, that Medivac kill so nice. He's going to pick him up. Get out of there. And, uh, yeah, not much... Uh, not much rain did about that. So drop over here in the expansion. Actually, the main of Marine King Prime doing a little bit of damage. Now he's forced to fall back. Get out of there. Going to go drop here at the expansion. Now he's going to the expansion. There's nothing down here to protect yet. He's drop, dropping that supply depot. Just a nice guy. <laughs> I'm not sure why he did that. He just want to give more room for Fnatic Rain to move around. Only dropping a couple uh, Marines and then falling back here. So uh, Marine King Prime now ready. Maybe going to work on this supply depot. There are four Marines coming up. They see this. They should be able to take out the rest of these units. Now the tanks are sieging up in a pretty good position. They'll be able to take out the rest of those means. Oh, no. That guy gets blasted a bit. So there's a body part here. Terrible, terrible damage. Look at that. Two body parts all over the place here. Four Marine King Prime's units. Supply catching back up. Marine King Prime getting back in the game. Only four supply down. Make that two supply. A lot of missile turrets going up now for Fnatic Rain. He wants to keep... Uh, Keep those medevacs out of his base. He even has a Viking hanging out in position over here, uh, kind of filling up this open area. Probably could put it on patrol here. Ranking Prime, now going for a push through the middle of the map, getting aggressive. And now Fnatic Rain's like, you know what? That sounds like a great idea. Let's cross the map also. Both players do not see each other. Now Rain sees it, and Ranking Prime is going to get first vision. The stimming first, because uh, Stim isn't even finished for Rain, but he's got four siege tanks in the back there. And he's going to wreck the rest of those tanks. And once again, a fight goes really well for Fnatic Rain. This uh, one Viking forced to fall back. So we've got the third uh, being placed over here for, for Rain. Two more barracks being placed. And then we have a drop over in the top left. Uh, Rain is going to deal some more damage. Take out a couple more SCVs. The reinforcements from Marine King Prime taking out the rest of those, uh, those Marines. And he's even going to lose the medevac. Yes, he does. That thing pops in the sky. 
So uh, one more Viking heading out. Is Rain going to go for another push here, waiting for some SCVs, even uh, actually just one SCV, more Marines coming out. And now he's going to go for a push. Let's check the old worker uh, account five versus six. So uh, pretty close production here, except for Marines. Uh, a little bit more there for uh, Fnatic Rain. But oh no, the Marines are way out of range. Oh, that one's so bad there for Rain. And uh, Siege Tank's in the back. Really not. Oh man, that just went so bad for Rain. Really bad control there. And Rain King Prime is just kind of a moving to victory here. And the tanks in the back. Oh man, he lost all three of those tanks. He didn't need to do that. Uh, but anyways, he did. He sells four medevacs left. Three siege tanks down here on the low ground. Can't do anything. They just need to fall back. Not much they could do. More reinforcements on the way. He needs to pull these two Vikings. Get those Vikings in there. He needs to get some SCVs to repair that. But like I was saying here, Fnatic Rain pushed up with his Marines out of range of his siege tanks. These siege tanks were completely useless here. Marines not in a good position to deal with that. Unfortunately for him, uh, lost all of his marines before the fight even actually, uh, before those siege tanks even got to deal any damage, so a little bit of a misplay there. We have a big drop coming in from Marine King Prime, a huge drop. Siege tanks, marines, medevacs, medevacs dropping, and he only managed to lose one there. Siege tank going up. He's got so many medevacs. Look at that. Looks like one medevac per two marines. So many marines are going to take out those, uh... Uh, so one missile turret on the left now. He's forced to fall back, letting that siege tank deal some damage. He's got a lot of marines here between both players, but the both players do have stim upgrades. Are favoring Ring King Prime. That tank in the back sieging up. He's going to be able to take the tank on the left. No, he does not have vision. Does he? Does he? No, he does not have vision. He's going to be forced to get out of there, but I don't think he's going to be able to get home. You get the two Vikings taking out the rest of the stuff, and that one Viking. Nice control there from uh, Fnatic Ring, keeping away from the rings. Does manage to clean the rest of that up, and now Fnatic Ring should be able to clean uh, the rest of these uh, marines out of his base. But not before Marine King Prime is going to deal some more damage. Look at that. Two SCVs. Three SCVs. Taking the mills. So turn it down. Four, five. And wow. He's doing so much more damage here with those four Marines than I thought he would have. Uh, a little bit slow reaction time there from Rain. So the base on the far right up here. The gold is going to be uh, cleared out. He's going to take the destructible rocks down. That's going to set uh, Fnatic up for a nice gold base. That's going to allow him to uh, you know, just continue on into the game. He's supply blocked right now, unfortunately. Look at this supply block. It's a pretty big supply block on all of his bases now sieging up now, uh, but Marine King Prime is so many more uh, Marines going to go straight into the front here, take out all the tanks in the front, more Marines streaming in, and look at that spread of those Marines there, tanks not being uh, being as efficient, and oh my god, Marine King Prime with nice positioning and nice control just crushes that entire army, and now I love this, he's just falling back for the time being, he's got pretty low units waiting for some reinforcements, let the medevacs repair up, and what is this, what is Rain doing, oh my god, loses the medevac with full of units, and oh man, just like bad positioning and some bad uh, bad controller from Fnatic Rain and Marine King Prime. Just it seems at times he's down. He's like behind in supply, but uh, he just comes back with these fights uh, where Marine is just out of position, unfortunately. So uh, now Marine King Prime going for a big push. He can take out this gold. Does he know the gold is there? Nobody now he knows it's there. He saw all the SCV transfer. That's going to alert him to the gold there, but he's going to go for it. No, he's just going to siege up and go straight into the main here. Actually, the expansion for Rain. Rain does have some siege tanks in the back, but Marine King Prime continuing to push into Marines. He's spreading them up there. Nice spread on the Marines there. And can he see the high ground? Yes, he can. He's got the Medivex. There you can see that one tank up on the high ground. There's not much left here for Fnatic. Rain supply favoring Marine King Prime. Let's check the work account. 42 versus 45. Really close. Six siege tanks for Marine King Prime. Huge difference. Ten Marines versus four. So now Marine King Prime in a heavy lead. But look at this. All the SCVs being pulled from Rain. He's trying to finish off the rest of these tanks, tanks but luckily enough reinforcements coming from Ranking Prime at the exact same time he's going to be able to take out all these SCVs so many SCVs being lost for Fnatic Rain and Fnatic Rain uh, I'm predicting GG here pretty soon he just lost so many SCVs there it is GG from Fnatic Rain so I mean I just got to think about this game there are so many positions where Fnatic Rain was in the lead but he just missed control or uh Bad positioning, just he just lost his lead like so many times there. <clears throat> the first time being when he went in with that first push, he had this tank sieged up, and it just took him forever to continue the push. I mean, as soon as he killed that last force, he should have just unsieged, went straight to the expansion, and started attacking. Or, I would, what I would actually prefer is just fall back to your main, keep the siege tank lead, and then go in for another big push with more siege tanks. You know, limit them to two base, something like that. So, that was a bad play, and then uh, lost, he lost the medevac just flying randomly through the middle of the map. That was bad. And, uh, like, right there, uh, right after that, he just kind of had, like, a couple of siege tanks there with not that many marine reinforcements in the middle. So, unfortunately, Rain is going to lose that game, but I, I think he has the ability to beat Marine King Prime. We'll find out game number two is going to come up next. Uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter, at Ianchikino. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more good stuff, more commentaries. And, the, uh, yeah, let's head on into game number two, coming up next.